Hi everyone, this is Abhishek Agarwal from etutalks.com. As we have seen the sale point installation article on the etutalks.com. Hope you have followed and enjoyed it and you will be able to complete the sale point installation. Now today we are going to see Active Directory Domain Services installation on Windows Server 2019. So if we talk about the latest Windows servers, there are Windows Server 2019 and Windows Server 2022. We are going to use Windows Server 2019 to install the Active Directory Domain Services. The reason behind installing it is we want to integrate SailPoint with the Active Directory. So currently the SailPoint is installed. Now today we are going to install the AD, uh, ADDS services on the Windows Server 2019. Now let's go into my computer screen and see how to install it. So very first to install it we have two prerequisites. What are those prerequisites? Let's go to the local server. Here you can see for Active Directory server, you need the static IP. You cannot have an IP which is keep on changing. So I need a static IP. So I will go and assign the static IP to my system. So for this, I will click here, local server, then Ethernet 0. In the Ethernet 0, I will double click on this. Then I'll click on properties. I will go to the IPv4 and I will select the IP. Now what IP I am going to provide, I am going to provide it the same IP what it is having only I will make it as a step. So for that I will open CMD and I will write here IP config. So you can see my IP is 192.168.0.194. So I will get the same IP 192.168. 0.194 I will use the same, same no problem and I will hit the gateway name same as available okay you are not going to give any DNS information because that is not required as of now I'll click ok <coughs> close So see our IP got changed and it has reconnected the server. So now this is done. We can just cross validate that what changes we have done that is implemented or now. So you can see the changes we have made that is available. Now we'll close it and <coughs> here we can see our computer name is showing very bad computer name. So we will give it some meaningful computer name. After that it will ask you a restart. So that's not a problem. So I'm going to give it a give it a meaningful name server one. Click OK. You must restart your computer. Okay, no problem. We will restart the computer. And now I have to restart it. So I'm restarting my Windows now. Okay guys, so our system is restarted. Our server is restarted. Now we are going to start the Active Directory installation. So our prerequisites are done. Now I am proceeding with further steps. <coughs> okay. So now our server is started. We are going to start the Active Directory service. To start the Active Directory service, I will click on Manage, Add Role and Features. Once I will click on Add Role and Features, first page is nothing just click next here you can see destination server server 1 so if you are having more than one servers in your environment then you need to check it out but since we are generating we are just creating a lab so we are having only one server so there is no issue so here on this page you need to select role based or feature based installation so click next now here again if you have multiple servers select the appropriate server in my case i have only one server right now so i will select the server and click next now here I need to select Active Directory Domain Services. Once I will select this, it will select all the uh, dependencies. So I will click Add Feature. Then I will click Next. Here it will ask me to put the group security policy, uh, sorry, the group policy and the uh, .NET it is it will install. So no problem. Click Next. Here it is giving some description that uh, what things are going to install and uh, slight definition about ADPC. So it is just an informative page. You can ignore this and click next. Once you will click next here, I am selecting restart the destination server automatically if required. But 
this is for lab it is fine for production don't do this i have i'm having the lab wherever restart is required it will take automatic restart so i'm selecting yes if you want whatever configuration you have done you can take the export also but since uh, it is not required in my case i will i will go ahead and install it so the installation will take little time so we will pause it here and once installation will be done we will resume okay so installation is completed now now we need to do the configurations so it is asking promote this server to the domain controller so since we need a dc so we will promote this computer to the domain controller i will click on this so it is asking me three options you can add this domain controller to the existing domain since it is a fresh installation i don't have any existing domain you can add the uh, domain to the existing forest so i don't have forest also because i am doing the fresh installation so i will click add forest in the forest i am going to give here my uh, forest name so i will give here it talks dot local it's up to you you whatever is your domain you can give it here usually for non prod environments we practice uh, like it talks dot local and for production environments we uh, prefer it talks dot po so it depends on your root name now click next so here it is asking us to uh, provide the forex functional level and domain functional level we are going to choose the uh, latest which is 2016 and 2016 so it is latest one and i will not change anything in the dns server and the global catalog server what i am going to provide i am going to just provide the credentials so it is moving it is it has not just moved till now so this page is not enabled so you can see 2016 is the latest version and here also 2016 is the latest version so now i will give the password okay after giving the password click next here you need to uh, have a there there is one error delegation of dns cannot be created you don't need it because you need separate dns we didn't don't have it it will install the dns on the server itself so click next now it will ask you to provide the net bios domain name i am going to provide a2 talks as my net bios domain name so it has already taken a2 talks automatically so no need click next now it is the database folder log file folder and sys volume folder since it is the out of the box location i will click next now here is a chance if you want to review your configurations what you are doing you can review it and then click next now here it will do prerequisite check and in the prerequisite check it may give some warnings as well since it is a lab so it may give some warning set okay. so prerequisite check has done so there is no problem with the prerequisite check it is successful uh, one or two uh, warning is there we can ignore it and click on the install the installation will take a couple of minutes so we will wait for it and i'll just fast forward fast forward the video a little bit and we will connect once it is complete okay so our service is installed so the computer is going to be restarted so we'll just close and then you need to click on close but before you will click server has restarted so no problem now we'll just wait for server to come up okay we have logged into the server now it is applying the proof policies to the client so take a couple of minutes so the server has restarted now we are going to check 
the Active Directory service is installed or not. So you can see Active Directory domain services are installed, DNS is installed and we need one tool which is called ADUC, Active Directory Users and Computers that is also installed. With that we can see our domain, we can see a2talks.local is available which is having all the folders which are required. Let's try to create one user in the domain to check everything is working fine. So I'll create my first user, a2talks and I'll give here a2talks. So you can see my UPN at a2talks.local and my uh, Windows uh, SAM account name a2talks slash is coming here. Click next and give a password here, anything. Now user must change the password on next logon that is I will keep it and finish. So you can see my user a2talks is created here. So with this uh, our Active Directory installation is completed on Microsoft Server 2019. With this our Active Directory installation is completed. Hope you guys have enjoyed the session and you will be able to install the Active Directory for yourself. If you have liked my video, please like, share and subscribe my video with your friends. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.